Generals gathered in their masses, just like witches at black masses. I can't do the old one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There's certain heights to which no man can aspire, save the Oz. <laughs> So John, when did you first start coming to Sam's and, and why did you pick it as the location for this taping? I'm trying to remember when I first went to Sam's and I think it's that I thought it was, I mean, it used to, they used to have a, a grill here, you can see from the sign on the outside, yeah. and I think I was hungry and I was near 9th Street, which is like a spot, and you will have noticed, it's like this, it's like a great 70s record store that like they just have everything, right? They just have everything. It's very convenient on the way home from 9th Street to stop by Sam's and give them your money. The winter's wet. The summer's hot, take a match in Puerto Rico. Why not? You've got uh, Beat the Champ coming out. Yes, indeed. Uh, playing a song, uh, Stabbed to Death, outside of San Juan, yep. which is based on a true story, right? It is. Well, I mean, it's, a, yeah, it's, it's in the first person, so no one can know what, what King Kong Brody was thinking as he died. But, uh, but yeah, King Kong Brody was stabbed in the locker room uh, after a match and died in, in Puerto Rico. So. Are all the songs uh, on the record based on true stories or based on wrestling myth? No, I had a count that I should memorize as we go into interview season, but uh, <laughs> when I write songs, I don't sit down and say what I'm going to write about. I just sort of write and I see what it's about, and I wrote either Hair Match or Southwestern Territory first. And I went, oh, that's kind of interesting. A song about wrestling that has a little more emotional terrain in it than you might have thought at first, so I kept exploring, that's what happened. Power and adrenaline flowing like amber from the recesses of the earth. Put on your waders and twitch. When the river runs high sometimes, twitch. And having been a wrestling fan when you were younger, were you already familiar with all the lingo that works its way uh, into the lyrics? A fair bit of it. Uh, I didn't really milk it that hard, as I guess, sort of, because when people do that, you can sort of see them doing it, and then it can be irritating, so I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't delve that deep into the kayfabe terminology. Yeah, so. and then within Stabbed to Death outside of San Juan, there's also a very specific scientific term that right. comes up. <laughs> this is sort of the sort of behind the curtain stuff I don't talk a lot about, but like uh, the line I'm working off of is the sky goes dark and there I am. Mm -hmm. What rhymes with am? So I start running jam, ham, I'm probably not gonna use ham, uh, lamb, 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 clam, you know, you do that. And you get to diagram, and you go, okay, well, that's a nice one, right? It's, 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 it's got a good rhythm. Diagram is a very lovely rhythm. So you start looking up types of diagrams on the internet, right? You go, okay, what else, what, what, is, what kind of diagram do you use? And I look up the hertzsprung russell diagram, which is a light spectrum, right? And, uh, and I thought, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> and then I got the phrase to climb down it, you know, to enter the darkness, right? And I thought that was cool. So. The sky goes dark, and there I am, climbing down the hertzsprung russell diagram I draw. From the top of my tall steel cage. And the song has this great uh, metallic riff that I think kind of comes out in the acoustic performance that you did that oh, great. Thanks. Jump, 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 jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine a wrestler using this as uh, their entrance music, perhaps? The thing, kind of, except that we didn't do, like I think most bands, most bands layer on in the studio and then peel back, where I'm always very careful. I don't want to add stuff that I'm going to have to fight to take off later, and that happens. And so, I mean, I think that would make great entrance music if I did a remix and put on about five more electric guitars. When the blade hits the bone, everybody hears it sing. Shower room full of people, no one hears a goddamn thing. Twitch. When the current runs wild sometimes. My son calls the song Twitch. That's his, <laughs> he was two when he first heard it. He said, I, I want to hear Twitch, Twitch. <laughs> and like any two year old, he, he loves hearing songs about gory deaths. He loves this record, I have to say. <laughs> it's very, I have heard this record a lot more than my other records because he always wants to hear it. It's this and Dio's Greatest Hits and Candle Mass. There's a lot of records in the house, but those are the ones he, he, he returns to most.
love the hum of the refrigerator so much. It is so great. Thank you so much.